and the poem is called Living Her Life on Broken Wings. Caught in the macrame web she spun by internal decadence, leaves her to live her life on broken wings. The totality of carcasses strewn at her feet comes from sagacious deceptions, filling reels of pictorial film awaiting its panoramic debut. Dilapidated wrought iron gates slump in neglect as empty ropes swing from the gallows. Trees bend to the way of sorrowful winds convoluting in permanency. Effluvium impregnates the air. Excrements released from the bowels of ghouls and jackals leaves her in a high virginitous state like the ash residue she snorts from crematoriums. Encompassed in guise and monk's cloth is a semblance motif she's ensconced in, retreating into self-imposed exile, corralling for pity, living her life on broken wings. Regurgitated acidic lace breath restricts her speech, adhering to poor sense. Lines of demarcations lead to extricating atonement from all that knew and loved her. But as Christ approached her fortress, her induced aversion toward his merciful beauty inflamed anger and purulent matter stirring scabies beneath, perforating her flesh. Descending from her monstrous sight, he leads her to the underworld. As she smells her love of nearing, she becomes physically inanimate. Gargantuan in stature, he stands before her. Showing her last covetousness, passions arise, and he gives her the gift she seeks. Dislodged from this life, like the arrows released from the bows of an archer's hands. Ballerina swan dance and singe tutus. Expedience asphyxiated voyage into perdition. This her resolve as she lived her life on broken wings. Oh.